Hello everybody, today I will show you how to create a path animation. A path constraint can be applied to an object's transform controllers to restrict the object's movement along a spline. The idea is for this car to move following this line, then stop at the house to wait for the person. This person will wait for the car to come and stop in front of the house. Then, the person moves towards the car. Press P to switch to perspective view. Click on the locator of the car and press a Z to zoom in the car. While the locator of the car is selected, click on Motion tab. Click on Assign Controller and this tab will be shown. On this tab, click on Position and then click on Assign Controller button. This pop-up will be shown. Now, click on Path Constraint. Then, click OK. Scroll down the slide bar until you see the Path Parameters table. Click on Add Path and click on this line. Now we see the name of the line on this table. This means that the path constraint between the car and the line was already created. Move the timeline slide bar. Now you can see the car move along the line. But when the car turns right, the car doesn't rotate facing right. Tick on Follow below Path Options. Now you can see that the car moves in different way and it's still not right. Scroll the slide bar to frame 0. Scroll down this slide a little bit. On the axis table, select Y and then tick on Flip. The direction of the car is better now than before, but we need to rotate the Y axis of the car to get the right direction. Now you can see that the car moves along the line perfectly. Click Play Animation to see it move again. You can see the speed of the car is very fast. We need to decrease its speed. Keyframes for path animation show as black tick marks in timeline. Click on Time Configuration to change the time. On Animation section, change End Time from 100 to 300. Then click OK. Now the timeline changed to 300. Click on keyframe at 100, press shift and drag to frame 200. Click play animation to see the car move again. Now the speed is much better than before. This time for the person animation. Click on the locator of the person. Go to Motion tab, scroll up to Assign Controller. Click on Position and click on Assign Controller button. This table pops up. Choose Path Constraint, then click OK. Scroll down the slide bar until you see the Path Parameters tab. Click on Add Path, then click on this line. Now the path constraint between the person and the line is created. Again, 
the person moves along the line, but the direction is not right. Scroll the slide bar down a bit. Tick on follow. On axis section, tick on Y and tick on flip. This time, the person moves in the right direction. I want to change the time when the person starts to move, so I'll click on the first keyframe and press Shift to move it to frame 150. Now we can see that the person waits a little bit for the car to come. Then, he walks towards the car. Press C to switch to the camera view I made before. Click play button to view the whole animation. Now we can see that the car and person moves along their paths perfectly. Thanks for watching. See you to learn next tutorial. Bye.